have a little girl that's popping with cracking it's Steve about to react to this vid. Apparently, R. Kelly's daughter has come out to reveal that he was inappropriate with her when, when she was a child. This is just sick, and I, I don't feel like crying today, okay? It's just not giving that. This is what got me with the whole Kendrick and Drake situation when I, when I got emotional reacting to, you know, that one song. Because, listen... Pedos are very vile, disgusting people. They don't have a moral compass. And a lot of them don't care if it's even their own family. I know women who have been assaulted by their own fathers when they were children. Like, so that just, it, it really emotionally upsets me because I think about them and I think of so many women who have encountered that, who, you know, have dads or uncles, you know, who are pedos and they took advantage of them when they were children. So. It's, oh, it, it makes me emotional. I don't, whew, already, this is a sign that I don't need to watch this. Cry baby, bro, I'm a cry baby. But this is just so sad. This is so sad, let's watch. I would not be taking my son to a prison to meet his grandfather. R. Kelly's family is reflecting on the emotional Ooh. toll of his legal saga. In the new documentary, R. Kelly's Karma, A Daughter's Journey, out October 11th, the disgraced musician's family, including a strange daughter, Joanne Kelly, and she's share pregnant. how they are coping oh. since he was found guilty of multiple sex crimes. A teaser for the special shows Joanne, who also goes by the name Buku Abi, breaking down while recalling her childhood with the singer and how she now plans to protect her son. If my son asks questions, I'm gonna be as truthful as possible. I would not be taking my son to a prison to meet his grandfather. The network teased on social media that Joanne will reveal a, quote, heartbreaking secret from her past, with the 26-year-old noting in the clip how she can now pinpoint a pivotal moment. He was my everything. <laughs> For a long time, I didn't even want to believe that it happened. I didn't know that even if he was a bad person, that he would do something to me. Oh, so fucked up. I really feel like that one millisecond completely just changed my whole life. In 2022, Kelly was sentenced daughters? to 30 years in oh, prison after disgusting. being found guilty on all charges in his racketeering and sex trafficking case. He received an additional 20-year sentence the following Burn. year. Burn! His conviction on six counts of sexual exploitation and enticement of a minor. He is currently incarcerated at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago and will be eligible for release in 2045 when he is 78 years old. The new documentary no, also features Kelly's ex-wife, Drea Kelly, who shared her continued sorrow and anger. Just because you're not a good husband doesn't mean you can't be a good father. And the fact that he didn't even try. What he did to me, he did to me. But you didn't have to do it to my damn kids. Oh. Okay, and it looks like this video goes over the details of what she said occurred. I was really hoping this was not it, but as I told you last week, the children, plural, of R. Kelly and his ex-wife are speaking out in a new documentary both that saying? promised to reveal a deep, dark family secret. And now we know that this monster, the original Diddy, took advantage of his own daughter when she was such a young child. R. Kelly's karma, A Daughter's Journey, is out now. And in this, we learn a lot. But first, a reminder, Aaliyah's ex is currently serving decades in prison. Yeah, he has been sentenced to decades, thankfully. And it's unlikely that he will be released early, okay? His daughter changed her name because she doesn't want to be called by her previous name anymore, and I will respect that. She now goes by Buku Abi. She is 26 years old now, and she says that 
she was repeatedly abused by her father sexually when she was a child and that she first told her mother when she was 10 years old. And if you also don't remember, R. Kelly himself is a former victim and that does not justify uh -oh. perpetuating the cycle of abuse. In his own autobiography, R. Kelly reveals that he was raped by a family member, a relative, when he was just eight years old. That also explains why he was depraved later in life, because he was introduced to acts that no child should be introduced to. In this new two-part documentary, Buku says, he was my everything. For a long time, I didn't even want to believe that it happened. I didn't know that even if he was a bad person, that he would do something to me. I was too scared to tell anybody. I was too scared to tell my mom. His own daughter says that jail is a well-suited place for the disgraced singer and songwriter. She says, I really feel like that one millisecond completely just changed my whole life and changed who I was as a person and changed the sparkle I had and the light I used to carry. After I told my mom, I didn't go over there anymore to visit her father. My brother and sister, we didn't go over there anymore. And even up until now, I struggle with it a lot, understandably. Oh, she goes into detail about what happened. She says it began when she was eight or nine. Buku reveals, quote, I just remember waking up to him touching me and I didn't know what to do. So I kind of just laid there and I pretended to be asleep. She says that she told her mother and that they then went to the police where they filed a complaint mm. as Jane Doe. This is crazy. She says in the documentary, quote, they couldn't prosecute him because I waited too long. So at that point in my life, I felt like I said something for nothing. For his part, the incarcerated R. Kelly, through a lawyer, says that his daughter is lying. Why was she, what the fuck was she gain from this? That's so dumb. What is she gaining at all? I'm confused. On behalf of R. Kelly, and if her sister is saying it as well, quote, so they all got together and say, "Yeah, let's make up this lie about him." That doesn't make sense. Mr. Kelly vehemently denies these allegations. He also denied the fucking the little girl and everything else that he did when he was on tape, caught doing it. He literally was like, that, that lying on me. Like, his little act that he pulled when he was getting interviewed. Was it Gail by Gail? So, nobody's believing him. His ex-wife made the okay. same allegation years ago, and it was investigated so everybody by the or... Illinois Department of Children and Family Services and was unfounded. And the filmmakers, whoever they are, did not reach out to Mr. Kelly or his team to even allow him to deny these hurtful claims. In 2022, R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison for racketeering and sex trafficking charges based out of New York. In 2023, he was sentenced to 20 more years in prison on child yeah. materials and enticement of minors for inappropriate relations. Fucking disgusting. He will be eligible for release in 2045. Kelly's ex-wife, Andrea, also speaks in the documentary. She, too, has accused him of abuse. And thankfully, it feels like she's in a much better place now. Okay. She is pregnant and about to welcome her first child. But it was not easy going through what she did. 
Abi reveals that life in her father's shadow was difficult and she struggled with thoughts about ending her own life. And his ex-wife recounts in this documentary the night they escaped R. Kelly and took the kids with her to see their grandfather, to stay with him. And they had never met their grandfather before due to R. Kelly's allegedly controlling behavior. She recounts one very sad moment where she was at a Target with her mother. She says, we went to the bathroom and she came out and I was washing my hands and she saw that my wrists were all cut up and she just immediately dropped everything and she was asking like, what's going on? Are you okay? She was really worried and in that moment I broke down and I had to tell her, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm okay. I don't think I can do this. I don't think that I'm gonna make it through to live out the rest of my life. R. Kelly's son, Robert Kelly Jr., also says in the documentary, quote, if you don't want to go to jail, don't do sh that gets you locked up. Word. Continued healing to his daughter and all of his children. And I hope he's having a miserable time. In I gotta get together. Sorry, y'all. BRB. I knew I didn't want to watch this. I knew I did not want to get on camera and cry. I knew I did not <laughs> need to even look at this. This is just so fucked. And I also recall stories that I've heard. So just watching things like this, it, I, it automatically reminds me of the stories that I've been told from, from women in my life who have experienced something like this. So that also makes me so emotional. <laughs> It's just a very sick, fucked up situation. Your dad, who is supposed to protect you, that's your first, you know, connection with a man. And for that to happen is, is so fucked. And I can only imagine the relationship that you'll have with men your whole life just because of that, you know? So it's, it's just really, really unfortunate. And I feel for all these victims, all women who experience stuff like this. It's so, so disgusting. So he needs to burn in jail. Like, they don't ever need to let him out. That's horrible. I mean, it was already bad enough with what he did with the, the other little girls. But your own kids, bro? Oh, horrible. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.